Hi, so um, today I'm just going to be giving you a quick walkthrough on how I put on my Astrid armour. So this was very frequently asked when um, I was showing my little videos of how, like, are there clips, are there buckles, what's going on under there. So that's kind of what I'm going to be showing you. Um, I have put the wig on because you don't want to see me struggling for 20 minutes with a wig. And I've also put the undershirt on because that needs to go on before the wig, but it's just a plain striped pleather undershirt. And then I wear leggings under it um, because they can't be seen. Um, so the first component is this, which is the kind of breastplate and skirt combo thing. And there are two buckles here, one on each side, and what they are for is buckling on the thigh armour. So this goes over your head, like so. That's why I hate putting the wig on first, but it needs to be done. Um, and then this is, if I show you here, there is a zip all the way up here. So it's a bit hard to do by myself. But I just tuck it in there. And then we start going up. Make I move my arms here. This is why we need I need more than one person, really. Oh, oh we'll get there. Just give me a sec. <laughs> there we go. So it goes up like that. Ooh. And then we have the chest plate and skirt so you can see how it kind of sits and it's got the buckles which are currently here and here so they slot under the skirt and then we get the next step so those are the shoulder bits i'll put them on in a sec um skirty bit so this is also another zip but it's literally just leather that goes around the front here zips so by not attaching the skirt and the bodice I found it gives me a lot more movement because I've kind of like tried to articulate the breastplate so it folds over itself so I can kind of bend so it gives me that kind of bending makes moving a lot easier okay so we have the skirt on um, shoes off now, actual shoes off. Um, so thighs are next. Thighs and knees are next. So I figure out which way to go. So it's buckle on the outside, little leather detail on the inside. So this goes on the feet like this. And then pulled up. And then those buckles here attaching to those buckles I showed you before on the breastplate. So that one goes there and it secures the thigh armour in place and keeps it up but it means that they're still really easy to move in because they're not like cemented on both sides. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do but this works for me so as you can see so I'll have loads of movement there I can kind of lift my legs all over the joint because it's only attached at that one point but that one point keeps them up on my thighs okay so that's knees and thighs Let's see everything else. so next uh, the boots are in two parts the boots first come in these super comfy opens which have i know i need to paint the elastic brown i keep forgetting but i'll do it before i go to work on um they have these um armor pieces which are just super easy to slot on and off these boots and then the boots themselves are just a super comfy set of up boots the comfiest boots I've ever worn uh, with the cosplay and then on top of them go these things so they're separate deliberately so I can basically again this whole thing was about movement and making sure I could actually move in the bleeding armour <laughs> um what else so we've got ah got the gloves which go on 
before the braces, but after everything else. At the braces, which is basically the last step, kind of. They are the last step, in fact, because they're the hardest bit to get on for me. Um, helmet. No, a helmet is the last step. Um, ah, shoulders next. No, it's your boots next, and I'll do shoulders. This is, very, this is very scientific, as you can tell. Um, so boots first. So boots are super easy. Boot covers things. This is like a stretch pleather, the same as the undershirt. And I literally just shove it on my foot. Oop, and pull it up and over. So it fits nicely on my foot. And then I slot my foot into the boot. And we have one foot. Be the wrong boot. That's the wrong boot, and it's the wrong boot. Okay. <laughs> this is the right boot. Oh, okay, that's much better. There we go, much better. So we have, once again, all the parts are kind of articulated at different points. So easy, and it covers the leggings, but I'm still comfy. So let's do it again. The other foot. And then foot in. And we have Astro boots. <laughs> So these are actually really easy to move in. I was surprised because I was expecting them to be like really clunky and they do clunk a bit, but they're, you know, I can walk around pretty easily in them, which is really good um, because it makes it a lot easier uh, to kind of like, you know, just wander around the con in here. The only thing I have to be careful of is these spikes, which are wider than me. So I keep bashing them into things. You know, I had no spikes at this, right? Okay, so we have Astrid so far. Now for the top part, which I always do last because it's easier to do the other things by yourself. Um, so we have these buckles on both shoulders and the same under here. So there's one that goes around the arm, like so, and these two that hook into the breastplate. So when I do it by myself, it's easier to do that first and then come in here and put these on you have to give me a sec because doing this by myself is hard one I didn't do this through <laughs> ten minutes later come on here we go done so one is done you can see how it sits nicely on the shoulder and it's attached to the arm. So next one, buckle up. To make sure I knew which shoulder was which, I have alternated the buckle and point ending. That was absolutely not a mistake on my behalf. I definitely didn't mix up the ends. <laughs> Okay, let's do the other side first, maybe that'll work better. It would not work better. Oh, come on. Come on, be nice to me. Stop being mean to me. Okay, one's in. Done. Yay! We're on. We're on, okay. So now we have the shoulders, which again, I can get my arms about up here before they start going, what, what are you doing? Um, well, elbows and everything are fine. So, not too bad. I feel, like, I feel like a warrior when I've got the shoulder pads on. <laughs> okay, next is gloves. These are not my best work. I need to remake these gloves. <laughs> Um, and then they've got the glove armor on them. 
but the gloves go on which makes the next step tricky but this has to be done that way because these the braces are the bane of my existence i hate them i just can't get them on by myself but we are going to try now which one is this Left or right, mate? I don't know. Which one are you? Yeah, we're gonna have to guess. I'm guessing this one's left. Um, okay. So we have to try and slot these in with this zip. Oh my god, that was so easy. I feel like I've jinxed the other one now because that actually worked really well. Okay. So then the little straps go across. And we have one bracer on. Let's try the other one. Arm in. Yep, definitely drinks so it. This one's a lot harder. Come on. Please go. Yes! Yes! Run! Run! Haha! <laughs> We're in! it would be um i was terrified of this process um because i've never made armor before so as you can imagine i was well i was expecting this to be an absolute horror show but it worked <laughs> so as you can see very easy to move in um little i can only get my legs bent arms bent to there but they can go out the whole way arms up to here arms have less movement than legs because of the way i design the skirt i can swing my legs you know the whole shebang kind of sideways backwards because of how the legs are done which i'm really proud of um but yeah so we have an astrid and then we have her helmet so when I was looking at this, I really wanted to make it move, which was way too ambitious for me, considering I've never worked with foam before. But anyway, so her helmet moves on like hinges, so I can, it's hot, articulated, so I can move in it. So I shove it on her head, like so. So we have the open face look. Go back. There we go, we have the open mask lock. And then you pull the visor down. Oh, wait, there we go, okay, so you pull the visor down. Hey, what's going on? Oh, okay, I'm grabbing the wrong part, that's fine. I'll pull the visor down and then pull her mask down. Get the wig out the way otherwise. Get the wig out the way first, I think, otherwise you end up with a blonde beard. <gasps> but I am Astrid, not rough, not off, not so blonde beard isn't really in character. That should work better, fingers crossed. So right, so we take the visor again, pull it down, and take the hand up that. Pull it down. Go on. You end up with an asterisk. I like how spooky she looks with the helmet on. You 
guys probably can't hear me talk when I've got the helmet on, can you? Yeah. Oh, well, okay, helmet stays up for now. Uh, but yeah, she looks so intimidating, I love it. And then we have... The axe! Ooh! Which is not as heavy as you think, but it's still quite heavy for someone with noodle arms like me. I've not got very much, um, I'm not very strong, so it's just about the right, right weight for me, which is good. Um, so, yeah, we have an asterisk. So I hope this kind of gives you a little bit of a, um, kind of look at how long this takes to get on. Hopefully it surprised you as it surprised me, but yeah, so thank you. So yeah, please subscribe and follow for more, and I'll have other assembly videos and all sorts of crafting things going on so yeah just give it a watch